shuttering for slab construction materials required acrospan these are horizontal elements which supports the steel shutter it is a set of two elements with each of 8 feet length and when interconnected it can be extended to 16 feet for each element one side is ended with a steel plate with holes in it for nailing jockey jockey or acroprop these are vertical element that supports acrospan the size can be adjusted based on room height till 16 feet these are steel shutters above which the concrete is to be poured and supported on acrospan standard size are 2 feet into 3 feet wooden planks wooden planks are necessary to fill the gaps between shutters and is used to fix the acrospan with jockey wood chop saw it is used to cut the wood planks based on different sizes other elements used are hammer nails duct tape etc before we start shuttering for slab formwork for beams are laid between two columns jockeys are placed with spacing 3 feet each wood planks are placed above those jockey one horizontal and two vertical on either side and are fixed by nails once the formwork for beams are over shuttering for slab is done depending on the room height the jockeys are extended and are held tight by passing pin through the hole from outer tube to inner Turn the handle of nut for final adjustment. Next, the spacing between the jockeys are based on the size of metal shutters. Here we use 2 feet spacing since our shutters are 2 feet into 3 feet in size. Once the jockeys are positioned, wood planks are kept above it so that the acro span can be fitted to it by nailing. Same procedure is followed on the opposite side and the acro spans are laid on them. In this video, the two acro spans are interconnected as one and are extended based on the room size. Once laid, both are fixed together by nut. Now the metal shutters are passed to top and is being laid one by one. Here we have an irregular space so the wooden plank is taken off and fixed nearby.
the end of shutter should be at the center of acrospan so it is arranged as per it once the acrospan is positioned as per the shutter end it is nailed to the wooden plank below to remain fixed there may be gaps formed due to different room size and shutter size such gaps are filled with wood planks which are cut by wood chop saw based on the size needed the gaps are filled by this process once the shutters are placed the joints are covered by duct tape to prevent the concrete from leakage after bar bending and electric wiring process concrete is poured and set to dry for 21 days once dry the duct tapes are peeled off and overflow of concrete are broken down by chisel and hammer <laughs> 